What's going on, family? One thing that a few people have been DMing me about is how do I handle a solo show and how do I continue the conversation going if it's just me and I don't have a co-host? So I'm going to dive in by showing you three different examples or three different ways you ultimately can leverage your podcast if you're solo, if you have a co-host or not. Let's get into the episode. Welcome to the Your Podcast Mentor Show with Jonathan Jones. Here, you will learn how to start, launch, and monetize your podcast. In addition to hearing the latest trends and the latest and greatest things happening in the podcast industry. Are you ready? What's going on, family? Welcome to the Your Podcast Mentor Show, where you know this is your number one source for podcast how-tos, podcast news, and also interviews. So we're going to kick this thing off today talking a little bit about podcast news and first and foremost, Spotify, right? Spotify, who previously has acquired Anchor, they've said that they're looking at putting in a tool, maybe into the platform, potentially, right? They said coming soon that they may have a tool to where they allow you to edit audio in the platform. This would be somewhat of a game changer for some people because at the end of the day, simplifying the process to podcast editing will change the game because it helps us cut down time. For some of us, it might help us cut down money. So that's really all I want to hit on for podcast news. But I'm really excited about today's episode because after people uh, have hit me up and they always ask, well, John, if I start a podcast, what do I talk about? Or John, well, how can I use the podcast for my business? Or maybe I'm going to use it for personal. So after having some of these conversations, I wanted to pull three different examples from three different shows that I listen to frequently, and I wanted to then unpack what they're discussing and further go into detail of how you yourself can leverage your own podcast. All right, so let, let me let me go ahead and get into the let me go ahead and get to the first clip with the Army Money Podcast. <laughs> what we are doing is, like I said, it's really like these these first. You know, let's say 50 episodes are really going to be personal, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying, in terms of the people that we work with, mm -hmm. um, the people we've been on stage with, writing and producing. Yeah. So, look, in that clip right there, uh, Tank and his co-host, Jay Valentine, they have a show called the R&B Money Podcast. And as you just heard him say and what I've seen from the first few episodes that they've done so far, they want to focus on making this a personal experience or creating a creating a personal story by interviewing people in their own network, right? People that they've done business with, people that they know, and they're going to pull out and extract stories from the past. But ultimately, by them pulling out these stories, now we're learning stuff that we didn't know necessarily before. This is some things that we might not be privy to. But if you're somebody out there starting a podcast, you're like, John, how do I keep the podcast conversation going? They said it right here, sharing stories, and they also talked about them ultimately leveraging their network. So bringing people in that they've known from the past, but allowing us to learn more about the things that, that they've done, their journeys. So sharing stories, but then also creating a personal narrative is what they're doing with the R&B Money Podcast. I would encourage you to check it out. Like I said, the host is Tank and the co-host is Jay Valentine. Pretty dope show. Pretty, pretty, pretty dope show if I, have to, if I have to say so myself. Now, I want to talk about another way that you can actually uh, be able to benefit from having a podcast. You've heard me say it time and time and time again that the podcast industry is a $100 billion industry, right? By 2028, $100 billion is what the projected value of this industry will be. So if you're trying to figure out another way to where you can leverage a podcast, you're trying to figure out another way to where it makes sense for you to have a podcast. Let's go ahead and look. Let, 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 let's, let's go ahead and talk about it. We like to push R and B forward. Mm -hmm. Period. You know what I mean? We really, we we're really passionate about R and B music, and I think that's why I agreed to do the podcast. So right here, Jay Valentine is saying we're going to push our own cause forward. Their particular cause that they're pushing is R and B. For my podcast, it's called Your Podcast Mentor Show. I'm pushing the agenda of wanting to get more people into podcasting. 
right? Because I believe that if more people get into podcasting, one, they'll be able to reap the benefits of it being a hundred billion dollar industry, but two, they'll be able to to do what I'm going to talk about in the third point. I don't want to ruin it right here. But when you find a cause, what better way to move a cause forward than a podcast? Because you have somebody locked in for a set amount of time. For you, it might be a 10-minute podcast, might be a 20-minute, might be a 90-minute podcast, some even longer. But you have a captivated audience that wants to hear what you're talking about. And now by way of you talking about this thing more and more and more, you're educating your audience on this subject matter. So now by them being educated and by them being equipped, they can move forward with the information you've given them and even the charge. So that was two clips. Uh, that was from an episode of The Breakfast Club where they interviewed Tank and they interviewed Jay Valentine, who are both, uh, well, Tank is more so a a singer uh, a, little, a little bit later ago, but Tank has still been pumping out music, right? Crazy, crazy talented guy. And now he's taking more so of a managerial role and Jay Valentine is more so going out and he's becoming the musician. So they have the R&B Money Podcast because their cause that they're pushing forward is R&B, all right? It's R&B. And th th now, now this, particular, uh, this particular example it's really made me smile when I saw it, right? I really smiled. I was like, wow, I think this is really, really dope because so often we feel in order for us to have a platform, we must be a master of our craft. We must know everything about the thing and then that's just the thing, right? But, the, but what I want us to understand right now and today is that you can learn while you teach. Just make sure that you don't come from a position or a posture of you know it all, but you can be learning. And then as you learn something, then you teach somebody else. That's the best way to continue to learn. And that's the way to really get it ingrained in your mind. So now I want to play this last clip uh, and I hope you all enjoy it. You recognize basketball players. I got to get you to recognize other things in the world. So we're going to work on that. Okay. Mm like, I'm gonna be like, yo, Halo, this is such and such, you know what I'm saying? When you're out with me, when you're meeting people, okay? Because it seems like everybody knows you, okay? So when you see people, I want you to shake their hand with a firm handshake, look them in the eyes. Yeah. And 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 tell them, you know, hey, my name is Halo. And then ask them what their name is, right? Mm -hmm. And then remember that. The third point I wanted to make right here, man, shout out to Two Chains and his son Halo uh, with their podcast. Uh, really, 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 really dope. Really dope. Two Chains and Halo is, is the name of the podcast. And they really helped me explain this point really well. But the point is, you can ultimately use your podcast or leverage your podcast to learn and teach others in real time. I, I've watched all the episodes that they put out so far. I think it's about three, unless they released one that I hadn't known about just yet. But you see Halo... Two Chains' his six-year-old son educating him on certain things about uh, the first African-American astronaut to, to go into space. And then you see Two Chains telling his son certain tips and tools just like he just shared with him about shaking people's hands and looking them in the face and remembering their names. These are life lessons that Two Chains is teaching his son through the avenue of a podcast. Now imagine... How many people look up to or admire 2 Chains for his talent in rapping? But we may have missed the fact that he's a dope dad, but also we might not have even known that he graduated with a 3.4, I believe is what I remember reading uh, a year or so ago. So understanding these things, you can also use a podcast to teach life lessons, but give the game. 2 Chains is using his platform for the greater good because he's showing that you can be a dope rapper, but at the same time, you can be a dope father, right? And then Halo is just showing out because Halo is showing us that he's really into basketball. He wants to go to the league, but also he's letting us know that he's a human. He's letting us see his personality and also seeing the opportunity, right? Also seeing the opportunity of him getting to share with his dad some educational tidbits, some educational nuggets. So quick recap, Cliff Notes, if you've been asleep, before we get into that, I want to let you all know we're getting ready to make a big, big, big announcement. So stay on the lookout, right? Big announcement 
stay on the lookout stay on the lookout if you're not following uh the podcast be sure to follow at your podcast mentor show on instagram uh because we're gonna make the big announcement coming up soon but uh family this is what i want you to know for the cliff notes if you're struggling trying to figure out how to leverage your podcast that you haven't started yet or that you do currently have the first reason i said is you can leverage it by creating personal stories if you feel that you don't have any stories or you're not comfortable sharing yours yet bring a friend on put the mic in front of you both and in front of you too and then record have conversations just real authentic conversations second you leverage the podcast by pushing your cause forward maybe you have a nonprofit. Maybe you have a corporation. Maybe you're an individual who has a small business and you're wanting to build and wanting to grow, but you don't know how to get more exposure to other people. Put it on wax, record the audio and push that baby out. All right. That's the second way to leverage it. And then the third way is you can learn and teach others in real time. Shout out to 2 Chains and his son, Halo, doing a great job with the podcast. I would love to have them as guests on my podcast uh, whenever I pull up in Atlanta. Uh, so if y'all see two chains, let him know uh, your podcast mentor want to holler at him. But family, we're going to go ahead and get out of here. Once again, I'm Jonathan Jones. I'm your podcast mentor. Share this with five friends that you know need to hear this message, that need to know how to leverage their podcast because they might have a story that you know they need to share. They might have a cause that's worth pushing or they have the ability to learn from somebody or teach somebody in real time. This is the Your Podcast Mentor Show, where we help you establish your platform so that you can profit on purpose from your podcast. Till next time, peace and God bless. <laughs>